gets done, how uh, confident are you in the four-man pass rush? <laughs> <laughs> well, today was the first day of pads, you know. Um, we're really, you know, with the three guys we got up front that came, that last year played ball, we're, we're confident with them. We think they're better. They're doing some good things. And with those guys inside and the guys we have outside, I think we'll be in a better situation with, you know, answering your question with Rush. But, but right now, I'll be honest with you, with the young guys, you know, Davis first had pads, so that's always a reality check, you know. But, um, you know, all we're trying to get them to do is, uh, you know, accept our expectations in terms of, you know, playing with effort, playing with toughness, playing with discipline. And I'll be honest with you guys, this generation of kid, really, you start from, you know, ground zero. You teach them how to listen. You, know, you say, hey, what day of the week it is, and they tell you January. <laughs> so, you know, we're really trying to get them to listen, understand that this is a process, and don't get frustrated with expectations or what your mom and dad are wanting you to do or what you know you guys want them to do. Let's just go out and work hard, work right every day, and be the best we can be. How crucial is it to get that pressure once the season gets here consistently, every every game, every quarter, every snap? Oh, you talking about in terms of pass rush? Yeah. I mean, well, the hell, everybody wants a good pass rush. It affects it affects the game, but um, you know, that's something you know we're going to game plan and have the guys prepare to do. How difficult is that first hit for the younger guys? I don't think it's difficult in terms of doing it physically. I just think psychologically, when you got a guy like Sedaris Hutchinson or a guy like Zach Bailey come off the ball and rock you, you haven't been hit like that before. So you got to get acclimated to it, just like you got to get acclimated to playing in the heat. But um, like I said, we just, you know, they go one play at a time. So we tell them to focus on where, and keep, you know, where their feet are, be where their feet are. And um, they're doing a good job of that. First day, you know, first week really that we've been in pads working ball, they're doing a good job. Who's running with your first team right now? Right now, Javon and Kier. Okay. And then Wadham on the end. And yeah, Wadham's on the end and um, Aaron Stern's on the other end. But really, guys, at this time of year, you know, I know, I know for y'all's purposes, and what y'all are trying to get done, you know, depth charts are really important and all. But really for us, it's an organizational deal. You know, we have different people at first team, different people at second team. It don't really mean anything. It's just an opportunity for them to get reps with different people and see what they can do against different people. So, you know, and you know, it's a team. It's a team mentality. It's not a us against them mentality. So we're just trying to develop quality depth and play consistent winning football. When you look at some of the young guys, do you expect at least one or two are, are going to have to contribute on the interior this season? Well, numbers would tell you that, but I don't really put any expectations on them. I just want them to do right, practice right, learn to prepare, learn to play the game the way we want it played. And um, you know, at the end of the day, our goal is to play winning football consistently. That's what we want them to do. How impressive was it last year that Javon could play at the level he played at while dropping that weight? And what do you expect out of him this year? And I just expect from him to come to practice every day with a good attitude and work hard. I mean, he developed, you know, he's young and bald. The guys really played ball two years. Um, you, know, he, you know, he hadn't been exposed to it, he hadn't experienced it. So anytime any of us experience something new, the more we do it, the better we'll be at um, learn from things. And, you know, just, you know, it's just all about your perception. And when, as you get experience, your perception changes and you're able to recognize things and react to the game faster, more physical, that kind of stuff. Seems like a seesaw. You had Javon trying to shed weight, Kier trying to gain weight. How have you seen the, the maturation of those two as they kind of try to get to the same level? Well, I'll be honest, if they're working right, and they do around here, we do a great job in the weight room, off-season program, practice. If they're working right, and now that we got Kristen in the fold and, and her nutritional aspects really shown with every player, I'm unfortunately shown with some of our coaches too. <laughs> um, but, uh, you know, if, if they're taking care of their business, they're going to develop. That's what football is. Football is a developmental game. Football is a line of scrimmage game. So up there, you know, you play close together with big guys, and you're pounding somebody every play. That really takes time for kids to develop, and they'll get better over time. You can't get frustrated with them, but you got to push them. And you got to let them understand the nature of that position. That's a violent position. How is Ken Law different than he was last year? What What are some of the things he's doing better? Yeah, I think he concentrates on the little things more. I think he's critical of himself without be, getting down on himself. Um, you can never be pleased as a coach or a player. Good players are never pleased with themselves, and I tell them a lot of stories about people we've had in the past that we've coached. Um, Champ tells them stories about great players in the past that we've coached that when they were young, you know, they might have made 20 mistakes in a scrimmage, but they had, you know, 40 points in production. So they were they're playmakers, but they got to learn what to do and how to do it and why it's important to do that way, do it that way. So, you know, we don't, when they make mistakes, we don't put any, you know, any pressure on them with that. We just want them to play hard, be physical, you know, be disciplined, don't beat ourselves. And then you learn from that. We all do. Did you expect J.J. 